Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Rosa Oliai, obstetrician and gynecologist. Today I'll be talking about ovarian cysts and tumors, and I think this is something that's of very great interest to a lot of women of reproductive age. If you see this model, we see that the uterus is here, and by the side of it we have the ovaries, and of course the tubes. Our concern today would be in this area. So what usually happens is during the menstrual period cycle of a woman, they may develop some cysts in the ovary. Now these are not malignant always and they do not cause any problem because they disappear on their own and they could be related to some kind of hormonal imbalance. However, sometimes they remain and if they remain larger than 4 centimeters in any side, then it's a cause of worry and one needs to get it treated. So what usually happens is during a menstrual cycle, we have these very common follicular cysts which are there because of the follicles after releasing the egg. They may remain a little cystic. However, they go away as the cycle finishes. Sometimes we have these chocolate cysts by the side after ovulation. They develop and they remain for some time. Sometimes we have these endometriotic cysts which are, of course, I'll try to cover this topic in another video because in itself is a big you know, a study. Then of course we have the dermoid cyst which also is non-malignant and it could be treated well. There is a question which always, you know, comes to mind that suppose I'm pregnant and suppose these cysts remain with me during pregnancy. There is no harm to that because sometimes because of the hormonal disbalance, they remain in pregnancy and they do not cause any problem. However, if they are very big, very large, we may need to get them treated and that could be easily treated with laparoscopy so there's nothing to worry about. Now when a woman, how do you come to know? What are the symptoms that you think you have while you have the cyst? You may have pain in the lower abdomen by the side, either side. You may have problem in passing urine. You may even have some pain during sexual contact with your partner and sometimes you know because of the you know, the type of the cyst, you may not be able to get pregnant, like endometriotic cyst. So there are ways to, you know, examine these patients. There are, you know, uh, means of like ultrasonography, transvaginal sonography, not an abdominal one because a TVS would show properly the cyst to you, the exact size of the cyst. If it is going to be larger than four centimeters, you need to take care of it. So laparoscopy is one way or hysteroscopy, you know, like we could do a diagnostic by side by side in case you want to get planning to get, uh, you know, treated for pregnancy, you want to have an issue, you're having problems. So laparoscopy would be one way of treating these cysts instead of doing a laparotomy and getting to opening your abdomen. However, that, you know, sometimes these cysts will remain for a longer time and you need to take care of it. Now, the concern would be, you know, when it turns to be malignant. So the good news would be age is a factor. So those women above the age of 45, they need to be a little careful because 45 and above would have more chances of turning these cysts to be malignant. So what should be done with it? You have to regularly get your ultrasonography done. You know from annually i would say every year so that you know you see the growth because these ovarian tumors and cysts if they become cancerous how big they grow how fast they grow you never know so the best thing is to get yourself regularly checked up now there are treatments also with ovarian cancers if one gets god forbid so there's nothing to panic so we have surgical means of removing the ovarian tumor cyst or later on, if it turns out to be malignant, nowadays we have such good medications like chemotherapy, radiotherapy, and these tumors, which are cancerous, are very well looked after and treated. There's nothing to panic. So for all those women who've got cysts in the ovary, you need to consult your gynecologist. Don't panic. Get your treatment done. There are many ways of medications can be given and get yourself treated, and the cyst could be taken care of. My next video will be on endometriotic cysts, which is again in itself a big chapter to discuss. So I look forward for you all to follow up the videos, like, share and you know, subscribe it of course. Thank you so much for the patient hearing.